Lastly, the ANC will be holding a memorial service in honor of the late minister and struggle veteran Praveen Godan this afternoon. Let's now get more from our reporter, Kenny Mapanga. Kenny, good afternoon to you. Of course, we saw how friends, family members, fellow comrades of the late former minister Praveen Godan, you know, converged at his home where his body was there for viewing earlier today. Of course, many still paying tribute to him. Just talk to us about who you're speaking to and what they have to say. Well, good afternoon to you, Nati, and to the viewers at home. Of course, as we expect, uh, the body of the late anti-apartheid activist and former minister, Pravin Gordon, to be making its way to Durban, Guadalupe Natal. Tributes will continue here in the Gauteng province with the ANC in Gauteng, hosting its uh, special tribute in memory of uh, former minister, Pravin Gordon. We're expecting a number of speakers to uh, join that podium later when it starts at about 4 p.m. today. That will include uh, the team of the ANC, uh, Ms. Gwen Ramahopa, as well as a family friend uh, that is Nishan Bolton, who you have seen uh, paying tribute to uh, the former minister following that passing uh, due to that battle with cancer. But of course, where we can start is the number of veterans we have seen. Uh, we spotted here at the Joburg City Hall as we prepare for that memorial sitting today. Uh, we are going to be speaking to Mr. Amos Masonda, a fellow struggle veteran. He said we can refer to him this way, who knows uh, uh, Mr. Pravin Goran quite well, goes far back and can speak about the legacy. I think where we can start first is how you will remember this uh, fellow struggle veteran and anti-apartheid activist. No, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, let, let, let me begin by saying that uh, uh, Pravin Gordon is truly, truly a leader and a veteran uh, of our struggle. Um, we will remember him as um, one of those few individuals, especially the late 70s and, and, and 80s, who pioneered uh, the establishment of civic organizations. Um, the Durban Housing Action Committee, uh, uh, the idea such as the that of CAHAC, Cape Housing Action Committee, um, the Port Elizabeth uh, Black Civic Organization, uh, the Soweto Civic Association, uh, and a, a myriad of other civic bodies that got established, such as the Tutuza Civic Association, the Kakiso Residence Organization, and later, of course, the Val Civic uh, Association. Uh, these civics uh, were formed, informed uh, by the idea that the masses of our people are their own liberators. Uh, in other words, uh, uh, it, 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 it was Pravin Gordon, amongst others, uh, uh, who pushed hard and ensured that uh, uh, mobilization of communities happened uh, at an unprecedented uh, uh, level. So remember him as a, a one who really emphasized the building of organizations and the development of leadership in a sustained uh, manner. Uh, secondly, just to say that uh, uh, also he helped to, 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 to to uh, uh, move a lot of uh, uh, politically uh, conscious people over to, to uh, uh, the Congress movement. Um, uh, the embracement of the Freedom Charter and, uh, and, and all those ideas uh, that sought to en 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 ensure that uh, uh, the masses of our people are effectively uh, mobilized. 
And Mr. Masanda, just to come in quickly right there, we know that uh, he served in a number of ministerial positions in the various administrations of our constitutional democracy. Um, a lot of those could be seen as complex while some were lauded and celebrated. We know the reaction of the global community when he was axed as uh, a finance minister. And then, of course, if we look at his exit, well, the last role he served as uh, Minister of Public Enterprises, we do remember that parliamentary probe and um, the criticism that he received in that parliamentary probe into the various deals um, there at SOEs. And what do you make of some of those criticisms that were made towards the former minister and the lasting legacy that he leaves behind? Everybody knows uh, that um, uh, the dogs bark uh, at the moving the vehicle. Um, uh, so there have been lots of, 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 of criticism that they've, that they've made over, 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 over a period. Um, but, but most of it can be reduced to um, uh, an attempt by those who were uh, uh, in support of, of, of corruption and corrupt practices. Um, uh, 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 basically reacting uh, and seeking to justify uh, the, the, their negative uh, actions. Uh, uh, as I was saying, I mean, Praveen is a, truly a hero of our struggle in my view. And, and I think that he's, he's, he's done a lot. Uh, and, 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 and that, yes, I mean, uh, uh, criticism of, of one kind or another emerges from time to time. Uh, but overall, uh, uh, criticism against Praveen has been re very, very un unjustified and, and motivated by negative motives. All right, thank you very much. That was fellow struggle veteran, uh, anti-apartheid activist as well in his own right, Mr. Amos Masondo, joining us there as the memorial sitting is expected to start at 4 p.m. I'm going to put my colleague, Mr. Tula, on the spot and ask him to show you some of those scenes behind me as the stage is set uh, for many more of what I expect to be those praises uh, towards the life and legacy of former Minister Pravin Goran as he is prepared for that final journey to his resting place. Uh, he'll be buried in an official ceremony on Thursday where we expect many more of those fellow struggle veterans and activists uh, to pay tribute to this life and legacy of former Minister Pravin Goran. Of course, we'll be giving you those visuals live at 4 p.m. when we expect that official program to start with a keynote expected to come from the ANCTG, Ms. Gwen Ramakhopa. Over to you in studio, Unati. All right, thank you so much for that. Uh, Kenny Mapanga, senior reporter here at the SABC, of course, giving us a preview and a sense of what to expect ahead of the ANC's memorial service then in order of the late uh, minister and struggle veteran, Praveen Godan.